Hello everybody, welcome back to my Country Sparkles channel. Today I'm doing something a little bit different, but we're installing something. I'm really excited about this. So what I've got for you is a Habent shower head. This is a waterfall shower head and it actually has two parts. It's the waterfall shower head and it's also got a handheld shower head. I'm very excited about this product. I've always wanted to have a rain or waterfall shower head in my bathroom to make it kind of like a more spa-like atmosphere, you know, just a little bit more relaxing. I like to spend a lot of time in the shower when I have the opportunity to take showers with three kids. <laughs> so when Havent reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to try out their square waterfall shower head, I was like, oh heck yes I do. And I am so excited to be able to show you how to install it also and test it out for you. Okay, so here's what the box looks like that came in. You can buy this on Amazon and I will definitely put a link for it down below in the description. So here we go. So I opened it up, Pretty easy, just like this. It had another box it came in. And then first thing is the waterfall shower head. It was actually in this little sleeve here, but I just set it back in there since I used it for the start of my video. And then, Let's see all the other pieces. So we've got some gaskets here, a few of them. We've got the rod that the waterfall shower head attaches to. We've got a holder to attach to the wall for the handheld piece and some screws with it. We've got the hose for the handheld piece. Got some plumber's tape. Ooh, this is cool. So this is a sticky mat, so you stick this onto your wall. And then this will slide into that to hold it on. Ooh, so you don't have to screw it, screw it onto your wall. I like that. So you can just stick it on, because most tubs and showers are tile, so you don't really want to make holes in them, right, if you can avoid it. So I really like that sticky piece. And we've got the handheld piece. Ooh, that's really big. And it's got quite a few different modes, it looks like. So, ooh, it, ooh, and it looks like you twist it to change the mode. That's gonna be exciting to try. And then let's see what we've got in here. I have not opened all this yet, so it's all brand new to me. So we've got some more gasket pieces and what is this? Oh, and the connector. So this connects all the pieces together so you can connect it all to the pipes. And then of course, well, not of course, thank goodness, there's instructions. So there are paper instructions, which are awesome. I hate it when things don't have paper instructions and you just kind of have to figure it out. So it looks like we've got everything we need. Let's do a little bit of prep work first. So first off, here's the hand shower head. In here, there is a water restrictor. Now, if you don't want such a high flow, then you can keep that in. If you want a higher flow, you can take that out. In the instructions that come with this, it says use a screwdriver to pop it out. Yeah, I just tried doing that. That was really hard. So I got me some Neil Nose pliers. Let's try getting out with that. Should be much easier. There we go. Got the restrictor out. Can always put it back in, but I know I like higher pressure. So I'm taking that out. So this just so it restricts how much pressure water will go through here at a time pretty much. So less pressure, more pressure. We're going with more pressure. Cause that's what I want and that's what I know I like. So step one, that's what I'm doing. Now let's go on to the next thing. The next thing I'm gonna prep is this. Super easy, I'm just gonna get it all ready to go so that way I don't have to fumble around with things. Take out the package. I'm gonna take the ends off of here too. So these just pop off like that like that, and then there's little caps on there. Just gonna unscrew those, oops. Just like that. And they have got gaskets in there already, so you can actually leave these on if you want until right before you install. Maybe I'll do that so that way the gaskets don't fall out. But I wanted the other little plastic caps off. Just 
getting as much prepped as I can so once I get in the shower and I'm ready to install, everything's pretty ready. This is a nice metal tubing for the water. For the next part of prep, I was gonna put all the gaskets in all the places that I needed a gasket, but it looks like they actually already have a gasket on, in all the places and they have a little cap over it so they don't fall off. And so the three gasket that, that I pulled out before, I think that those are just extra from what I can tell. Now the next prep that I'm gonna do is connecting these two pieces. So all you gotta do is take this, I'm going to unscrew this. Right, ooh. It's hard look, doing this through a camera, <laughs> just to tell you. I'm trying my best. So take those two pieces off, don't lose them. And then you've got this. See how it's kind of jagged in there? And this has jagged, so this is your head adjuster and it'll keep it at the point where you want it. So you want those two jagged pieces together. So I'm just gonna slide that in there. And this, just go right in there, just like that. And then when you wanna adjust the head inside the shower, if you want it higher or lower, depending on if you are either taller or shorter, then you can do that. You just loosen it there and then twist it and move it. So we're just gonna keep that there and then put on this piece. It's actually two pieces. There's a gasket in there and then there's an outer piece. Put that on and then screw that on. There we go. And so if you loosen it, you can pull it out a little bit, move it to where you want it and then you twist it back on and then it'll keep your head where you want it. So this is what connects to the shower faucet from the wall and this is what connects to the shower head. That is all my prep work. So now we're gonna move on into the shower. So this is my shower head. Um, I'm, woo, look at this, I was watering it. <laughs> Just got wet. All I'm gonna do is gonna twist it to take it off. Just like that. And I just hand twisted a little bit of muscle power, but nothing too crazy. And there we go. Okay, now welcome to the inside of my shower. <laughs> Let's get this installed. So the first piece that you want is this head. I'll try to get a full view of it. The head holder piece. So this is the one that goes into your pipe here. But first, really, we need pipe tape. So I'm going to grab some pipe tape to put on there first, and then we will attach this to that. Okay, so here's the pipe tape. That's what that looks like. And just white, thin, super thin, like thinner than paper tape. And it's not sticky. It's just like a very thin piece of fabric almost. And what you want to do is, so we're twisting the head on this way, clockwise. So we're going to want the pipe tape to go clockwise too. If you do it counterclockwise, then it'll get all bunched up and it won't work. So let's, you just want to put it on the grooves, just like this, and you want it tight. You just want to wrap it a couple times, not too many, and then once that's done, you just pull it and it pops right off. And then I twisted the end just like that, so it's secured, and now I've got my head extension piece here and this this bolt here nut <laughs> nut twists and so I'm just going to line that up you want to make sure that's lined up really nicely so that way you don't cross thread anything and I am just hand twisting it on I feel that it um I don't know what's called latched or got into the grooves correctly. I don't know. I am not a plumber. <laughs> I am a stay-at-home mom. Just doing my best to make a nice home and keeping things maintained pretty much. So there it is. The pipe tape's on there. If you want, you can pull off the white if you don't want to see the white anymore. But that is nice and secure on there. And inside here, there is no gasket. There are some parts that have a gasket. This in the instructions says it doesn't need a gasket. If it leaks, I might take it off and add one of those extra gaskets. So now let me go get the next piece. I'm actually gonna do this one, the um, hose that hooks from here to the handheld shower head. So let me go grab that real fast. 
Okay, here's the water hose for this part. So there's two different ends. This one hooks up to the shower head. This one hooks up to the water exit spot. Okay, let's put some plumber's tape on there. Remember we're going clockwise, so wrap it around that way. Start like this. Wrap around. I'm going to um, make sure it's tight. I will take the excess off. Let's take this and hook it on here. So just twist it on clockwise. Remember you don't want to cross thread it, which means the threads on the outside and the inside don't match up. So you kind of twist it gently until you feel it just latch all by itself. You don't want to force it at all. And then twist it tight and that's it. And then what I'm going to do to take this off and make it look better is just like that. This will just rip off. It's super fine. And there it is. Okay, here we go. We're going to do the handheld shower head attachment onto this piece next. So you want to take out the cap here that's securing the gasket in there. And I'm not going to put any plumber's tape on there just because I don't think it needs it. And then all you do is you put it on. Remember, no cross threading. Sometimes I'll turn it the opposite way before I kind of feel it like sit in there really good. And then twist it on. And that's it. Handheld is attached. And this, I'm just going to let hang free at the bottom. Um, another thought for this hose, it's so long that it goes all the way up here above my head down to the ground. It touches the floor of my shower. And so the handheld shower head is just lay laying on the floor right now. So that's awesome, having a nice long hose. Some of these hoses are really short. Okay, now for the next part, I'm going to put on the waterfall shower head. And first I'm gonna add some more plumber's tape just because I don't really think you need it here, but because I have it and they sent plenty, why not? It definitely will not hurt. So remember, go clockwise, round, semi-tight, and it'll kind of like hook to each other or stick to each other just a couple times, not too many. And I'll take off any excess that I don't want. Okay, now I have my waterfall shower head here, yay! And look at these prong thingies. They are like plastic, which I think will be really good. And maybe like super easy to clean out too, like sometimes I get hard water buildup, but being able to flick it and then the calcium just coming out, that would probably be really, really good. So I'm excited about that. So don't remember, don't forget this has a plug in the top. Just unscrew it. see the gasket in there. I don't laugh too hard because I am literally doing this in my video camera. Oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> so I just remembered one of the nifty things about this is you can reposition it so easily. So I'm going to actually do that so I can even get this head on. So you just unscrew this. Remember how to put that on there? Pull it out just a little bit so the teeth aren't hitting each other. And I'm going to lower this all the way down. Just like this here. I'll show you. Just like this. Oh, like my mess back there. And now it's down here and I'll be able to see how to connect it. <laughs> so let me get this reattached. Up here, I'll be right back. Okay, I got the top swung down. I got that all tightened back up and you can even loosen this part and swing it around just a little bit. Remember, get those teeth ungripped and you can move that to however you want it to. So I'm gonna just point it down. So that way I can get a really good position to put my head in. So here's the waterfall shower head and now I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so much better. Okay, so that's still hitting my wall, so I'm going to just turn that a little bit. Oh, I'm going to tighten it too, so that way it doesn't move on me. And this just needs to turn clockwise. Remember, don't force it. Just let it Glide into position. Go, it's going on really nice. I don't know if you can see how it's 
coming up, but it is. Here we go. Almost there. Oh man, so much easier than trying to just blind above my head. Okay, now the only the head's moving and not this part, so I'm gonna use my fingers. Let me see if I can get that any tighter. There we go, okay. And now the head's on. Look at this, and look, I'll just show you. So I loosen that and I just pull it out just a little bit. Oh man, the range of motion on that. All over the place. I'm going to actually leave that loose and I'm going to raise this back up. So, in order to do that, in case you forgot, right here, this little knobby. So, I'm going to loosen that just a little bit, not so it doesn't, so it doesn't fall off. And then, I'm going to move it back up to more position where I want it. And then tighten it back down. Sweet. And I'm going to tighten the other one, you can see where that is too. Now it's high. Oh. I just tilted the head down a little bit. This thing's so cool. Don't mind my messy bathroom back there. Oops. Let me just tighten that back down. So there it is. Okay, now I'll give you a view of it a little bit further away. Okay, here's a different angle for you. It's a little bit hard to get a good angle because of um, the top of my shower door here. So, but I want to show you how this kind of adjusts. So it's like you can bend it any way you want. Good angles. And then up top here, so this is where I showed you, you can twist that and you can tilt it up even more, which if I did that, it would like shoot over my shower. So I don't want to do that. This is really great where I have it. And then this, if you want it lower though, let me show you. So if you're shorter and you're like, oh, that's too high for my, all the way up there, I want it down. Look at that, lower it down. And you also want to twist this. Oh my word, so if you're even super short, ah, oh, we're going down. Here. Sorry, I only, I've only got a couple hands. So down that far, let me show you. As we lower it. even go like there this would be like probably my mother's height she was like five foot three and so under here even if you want it super low perfect and this is even loose I didn't even tighten this top part because it's just floating there so that's how you adjust the head that's so awesome and then we've got the hand shower head too and I'll probably uh, I'll probably won't hang it up for this video, quite honestly. I want to test it out a couple places in my shower while I'm taking a shower, see where I like it, make sure I'm not hitting with my arms or anything, but it will be very easy to put up. So like I showed you before, here's the plastic piece. So there's just a little sticker thing. You pull it off, put that on the wall, put the other anchor on the wall, and then put the head on it and make sure you want to make sure the surface is clean and dry before you put a sticker on anything. So I'm probably going to clean it off with like water and vinegar mixture to make sure it's nice and clean and that there's no soap residue or anything like that that would prevent this from sticking. Okay, now that this is all installed, I'm going to put it back up and let's, I almost forgot to untwist it, ha. Let's do a little test of it. Should be able to see it. This seems like a pretty good height. I want it straight. If this is a little too wobbly, I might take a like a crescent wrench or something like that and tighten this down. I put like a piece of toilet paper between the crescent wrench and your actual the um, nut here, so that we don't scratch it up. But we'll see how that handles with just being hand tightened. I don't hand tight things, tighten things as well as my husband does, so maybe I'll even have him hand tighten it more, but if not, you can always use a crescent wrench to make sure it is tight. But as you tighten it even more, you just want to hold this piece straight and then tighten the nut from behind. Otherwise, your head will twist with it. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so here's the shower head. 
and tighten this back down and this still wiggles back and forth but not this piece doesn't wiggle and I might just take that off so you can see how easy that is so all the all of it that's in the grooves stayed in there so it's just for looks I'm going to turn it on to test to make sure all the connections are connected so they're not leaking so everything from the shower oh that is not very tight on there apparently ah okay that's okay this is telling me that i didn't tighten it here really good which i can tell i didn't Okay. Haha, <laughs> here's another piece. So, like I said, never used this before. This back here is a knob and it'll twist it from. So that was in the middle, and so that made both the head water come out and the hand held a shower head come out or water come out of both. So I don't want that. That's why I was like, water's coming out everywhere. So I'm going to twist it all the way up. We'll see what that one does. Is it gonna be the head one or is it gonna be the handheld one? Let's find out. And let's see if that lowers again here. Make sure this is, okay, that should be tight. Okay, it's holding and it's obviously water coming out of the waterfall head. That looks so pretty. Oh man, I'm loving that. But can you see up here? Water is actually dripping out of my connector up here. So I'm gonna go get a crescent wrench and I'm gonna tighten that. It's just dripping a little bit, but I don't want any leaking. But then looking at this, oh, it's cut off. Ha, let's change this now from here, remember? Just push that down. So, there you go. That's from the waterfall head to the handheld head. And I'm looking here. There's no leaks. Got some good water pressure going on. I like that. Let's test all the different. Okay. Lighter. Oh man, that's like crazy wimpy. If you need a super light rinse, maybe if you have like a rash or something, you're like, don't touch my water or sunburn. Oh, that might be actually really nice for a sunburn. Back to the middle. Let's see what it does on the other side. Oh, middle and outside. This middle. Ooh, that's like a side one. Awesome. So those are the different settings for this head. And then let's go back to the waterfall head. Oh, just like you're in the Amazon right there. Oop. Okay, gonna turn off the water and I'm gonna do some tightening. So let me go get a tool, I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. I've got a piece of toilet paper, I've got my crescent wrench. I'm gonna tighten this right in here. So to protect the paint coating, get that, tighten it down. I'm gonna hold this straight. There we go. Okay, let's see if that fixes the leaking. If not, I'm gonna put another gasket in there. So I'll just take the whole thing off and put another gasket in there and then put it back on. So, get out of here. Nope, it's still stripping out. So, one of those extra gaskets that they sent, I'm going to put one of those in. So, I'm gonna go grab that. Okay, got my extra gasket here. Now, let's take this off. I'm gonna leave that pipe tape too. You definitely could um, change it out, but I'm not going to. Really just hoping the gasket works. Okay. Like 10 times a charm, right? Ugh. 
Okay. So maybe I needed to replace the pipe tape. So let's do that next. Okay, so on to replacing the pipe tape. Okay. If it doesn't work, I don't know. I'll ask my husband. <laughs> He'll give me some advice. So this is, I can't think of anything else. Oh, it's good. Aha! No dripping. Woo! -hoo. Okay. Took a few times, but that's part of DIY, is like testing things out and do it. Sometimes you have to do things over and over again. Don't take any shortcuts. Like, I was like, oh, I don't need to put up the pipe tape. You need to put up the pipe tape. It's still doing good. Still not leaking. Yay! Okay, so as you noticed, the waterfall head was not staying up with this for some reason. So I did a little bit of investigation. And it turns out this nut part that screws on to the bolt, it, I tighten it as far down as I can but this isn't what was stopping it from tightening any further. This part, the bolt part, matches up right with this and so the end comes here. So I tighten it as far as I could inside the nut. But it actually needs a little bit more tightness in order to hold the teeth together. So what I've decided to try to fix the problem is I'm taking out the washer and the little like cap piece that's on it and Within it, oh, I'm putting in this metal washer that I found in my husband's random work stuff. I will link them down below. This was like kind of overlapped and I just made it flat. So it just needs a little bit more like surface area to make it stick out a little bit further so it can actually tighten it. So I'm putting that right in here between that cap piece and this rubber gasket that came in the kit. And then I'm going to put that right back on here. And then the nut on the bolt and that pushes, makes the whole thing push out just a little bit further and hopefully then I can get enough torque to hold the teeth together. So I'm going to raise this up, just going to match the teeth right here and then tighten it on and then we'll test it out. So that got way tighter and you can even see that some of the rubber gaskets even like pushed out there so it's like protruding out between the this water line head and the nut get better angle oh there we go i was at a bad angle wasn't even tightening as much as i could oh man there we go so much better okay there now we should have fixed the problem. That should not fall down anymore. I'm not gonna turn that on, I'm still in here. So let's get you out of the shower and I will turn that on to test it. Okay, there we go. I just adjusted the head so it's straight and I've got that tightened as much as I can. And it's not going anywhere. I'm not like pulling all my weight on it because the teeth are still small. So I'll turn it on. Make sure the water pressure doesn't push down like it was before. Oh. Ah! Make sure this is turned on to the right one. <laughs> Gonna do waterfall mode, not hand sprayer mode. There we go. Nice, and it's sitting up there very nicely. So, that washer, that metal washer, did the perfect trick. <laughs> As you can tell, this is way higher than I am. So. There it is, all installed, no leaks, no things dripping. The only thing that I've gotta do is figure out where I wanna put the mount on the wall to hang this up. And that is how you install the waterfall shower head and handheld shower head dual packet from Habent. I am very excited about this and about having it in my shower. I think it'll be a great way to relax and add an even more spa-like atmosphere to our bathroom. Um, installation was really easy. Lucky for you, um, my only problem was the head was falling down, just a little bit of tension problem, and a little gasket fixes that right up. So since you've watched this video, now you know how to solve that problem. And 
because I'm not worried about falling on my head or anything. So it is perfect. Thank you so much for watching this video and joining me today. If you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video so that way others can see it. Thanks everyone. Bye.